So behind the neck headphones are an option too. That's true. You just forgot you have a weave kept in the Kagero? Oh god. Alright, this is Blackbeard's ghost. Blackbeard, you still here? If not, I, I must ping you. Let's get a screenshot with the sexy Lexi in the background, because I love Lexington. Maybe I need bigger tips. I tried that before. I could try it again. You are here. Okay, cool. I tried that before. I have different uh, different tip sizes. Um, I could try it again. It just felt like they were hurting my ears after a while. Nah. All right. So Giuseppe Verdi is an interesting ship. It's got the. Um, it's got the fuel smoke so that you can crawl up into somebody else. This ship is absolutely ridiculous. No, there's no screw-in option. This ship is absolutely ridiculous in a division uh, with two other Giuseppe Verdes because what you can do then is you can rotate your smokes and if you do it right, you just SAP secondary down everybody. It's great. You hear people like big tips on Twitch. Hmm. Hmm. Do those tips come with googly eyes? I'm curious, Painzer. Googly eyed tips. That's disturbing, actually. Yes. Well, so the idea of Blackbeards is that you don't, when you're in smoke, you don't actually fire your guns. The idea is that when you're in smoke, you just let your secondaries do all the talking for you. You only fire your guns when the enemy gives you a very nice juicy broadside, then you fire your guns. Totally not speaking from experience, of course. Ah, Cleveland. Too bad you have HE loaded. So what are you going to do? Are you going to go for the shot or are you going to wait? Looks like you're going to wait. You're still not changing your ammo type, though. Interesting. Let's try drying out the earbud a bit here and see if that works. And look at that fire with HE. On the Ohio? Hey, Gated Drag. How are you doing? I have a problem, guys. We've got an hour left in the stream. An hour and a half left in the stream, and I'm almost out of dirty water already. What do you think? Should I get some more? I think I just heard my wife scream. No! No, I don't have Jabber. These are skull candies. They fit perfectly fine. It's just, it's like if I smile or something like that, like it flexes the, the it's so my ear canal just like poops it out. Answer is usually yes, more dirty water. Tree suck, I kind of agree with you, frankly. Tomorrow's my first day back at school. I don't want to go back. Taking the shot here on the Ohio is okay. How is just so Giuseppe Verdi versus Marco Polo? The one thing I like about Giuseppe Verdi is it actually comes with a damn fuel smoke, which is the whole gimmick of the whole damn line. So personally, I like it better simply because of that. It gives you so much more flexibility um, tactically to relocate and whatnot. Marco Polo's only saving grace is 16 inches of SAP. I don't know that that's worth it, in my opinion. So, I like the Giuseppe better. You suck at Verdi, you're averaging at 129k after 40 games. Have you tried a triple Giuseppe Verdi Division SF? 
If not, you must do so. It is a lot of fun. It's expensive fun, though. I mean, you have to you know, expect a few other friends to have also purchased that ship. Ah, uh, you mostly play solo. I am sorry, my friend. Let me know if you ever want a div, dude. We can do some Giuseppe ridiculousness. I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun. Because what you do is you get up close to the enemy, and then you just buzzsaw them with your SAP secondaries. Lol, your shells are, are all over the place. Your gunners are drunk. And what is that Yugomo doing anyways? That was a pretty weird place for the Yugomo to sit. Uh, alright, so your Yugomo is spotting it. Good, just kill it now. You did get a double strike and two two CQEs in one match with it. There you go. Closer, his engines are out. There you go. Hard boat to break 300k. Hmm. Alright, there's the kill. Now, this side is weak on the enemy team. Your strongest... Oh. Your strongest on this side. So that means you pretty much have to push. And I would definitely go for the FDG. For one, you'll get some base decaps. Uh, that's, some, that's some good, sexy XP here. But I think the Wooster's going to beat you to it now. Ohio, Bismarck, FDG. Of those ships, Ohio is probably the easiest to break with AP. So you think, start thinking now about how can I get to the Ohio side? Yeah, <laughs> that's fine, SF. You, you and I were, were thinking the same thing, man. AP for the uh, Riga, okay. Look at the Ohio, he's continuing to push. FDG is showing your broadside. Now, I don't know, if, okay, Riga just disappeared. I was gonna say, Riga might have been a good opportunity for your AP shells, but he just disappeared, so. Nice hit. Of course, it's not a kill, but close. There we go. There we go. Good, good, good. Can you buy the monster with the coupon if you also chip in? No, I don't think you... you I don't know that you can. I don't know that you should anyways. I mean... Never buy coal ships for steel unless there's the last day before they're being pulled. Cthulhu is about right there. Take your time on it. Relax. You'll get there. Nice set it up. There it is on the Riga. He panicked and he moved forward. Ohio is continuing to move forward though. I keep an eye on that Ohio. Now here's where you wait about, okay, wait a little bit longer and you can put your smoke up. There you go. Full speed forward, put your smoke up in a little bit here. Like, what are you afraid of? Who's gonna do anything about you? You had to spend a couple hundred on the last day of Smolensk. It was an emergency, it sounds like it. Now, you constantly shooting defeats the purpose of your smoke. Keep that in mind. Because smoke fire penalty means that you will be detected. Also, Bismarck's Hydro also defeats your smoke. So, keep that in mind, too. You're no longer going to be able to smoke because of the Bismarck's Hydro. Which he's now using. Fortunately for you, 
He's going broadside for some odd reason. Paying partially the price for that. Having a surplus of steel and all the steel ships, I want to make it very easy to get more coal ships. I mean, everybody's welcome to do their, make their own decisions. You discover your destroyer main after wasting a ton of resources on Alaska Thunder and Georgia. That's okay, Stomongoose. Now you can play those ships better because you understand how destroyers play the game. Nothing wrong with that. Twenty seconds left for Stream Raiders. Ohio's coming out. Decent hit there. What's more painful was the balloons you had to spend on withdrawing ships that you wanted, huh? I'd really like to see you be more aggressive, but you're not. This ship is all about aggression. Oh, okay. Ships that were being retired, gotcha. Like, stop shooting, stop shooting, and uh, stop shooting, put your smoke on, and, and just laugh as you... SAP secondary people. Hello, Kerensky. How are you doing? Hey, Desta. Alright, no, um, kill panic. I don't know if any ships being withdrawn right now. Stop shooting. Smoke! You're missing out on a really good opportunity here. You smoke, you turn to the left, you put your plane up to keep the Ohio spotted, and you farm him with sap secondaries. Who cares if you don't have a setup for secondaries? They're still pretty good. Looking for hours while doing Sunday stuff, no worries. All right, you're about to get to the point where your smoke doesn't matter anymore. How's going to make a critical error? gonna shoot you in the in the side I mean he's backing up quite a bit now you turn why are you turning like this I would have kept going straight uh, force him to, to split his fire between you and the Wooster if you go to the other side then he he can just fire on the Wooster okay there you go there you go no need to ram him especially right now look at your score you're pretty close Shoot, quickly, quickly, quickly. There it is. So, I would say you you haven't yet used the one gimmick that the Giuseppe Verdi is all about, which is its smoke. So, use that smoke to get on the flank. Use that smoke to get into a position to do more than what you did. What you did is okay, but if you were playing Marco Polo, it would be the same battle, right? Stuttering here. Who are you looking for? Desta waits. Yeah. Yeah. I saw Desta earlier. I don't know if he's still here or not. I mean, this is a good game. It just doesn't showcase the gimmick of the ship, right? That they'll use that smoke to get on the flank of the Ohio. 
would have been fantastic right there. That would have been chef's kiss right there. What ships are being withdrawn? Uh, that would be the Kurfürst and the Khabarovsk are going to be converted to coal ships. So if you got those two, you're fine. Um, as far as do I buy the ship once I've researched it, I said this before, wait and see what the patch notes state. If the patch notes state that you only need to have researched, then fine, just screenshot that you've got it researched um, before the patch. If they say that you then it shouldn't be, then fine. Yeah, I see that, Desta Waits, River Plot. And, and, and that particular battle, um, Gresh Bay 1 looked like. So good job. How soon is that quad? I believe it's not till the February patch, although I could be I could be wrong on that. So you've got like a month and a half. Yeah, about a month and a half. After this we go to stream raiders. I'm gonna get more dirty water. Shh. I heard that Marcel could be withdrawn. Ah, uh, to be quite frank, um, Wargaming's been better about announcing ships that are going to be withdrawn. And they haven't said jack about the Marceau, so I don't think you have to worry about that. Look at how low the points are in this game, by the way. 173 to 222. At 16 minutes in the battle, this is a very low scoring game point-wise. Hey, Kerensky. Why can't you just free XP the whole line? Don't you have mountains of free XP hanging around? Oh, Kiev and Tashkent are fun. Absolutely fun ships to grind. Nothing wrong with those at all. Ah, I used something to get Paulo Emilio. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Another instance where smoke could be useful for you to get into the battle, but uh, you don't need it right now. You're going to kill that mountain. What are you afraid of? It's like you're slowing down for torpedoes. There are no torpedoes! Full speed, dude. Just go. Go. Full speed. Ah, Tulsa dies. Okay, um, wow, all of your ships are low, including your Lexington. And you're afraid of the Musashi. Why are you afraid of the Musashi? Wait for the shot. He's turning. Wait for the shot. It's too early. Poor Riga is going to get slapped right here. No, he didn't. I thought the Musashi was going to end him for sure. Come on, go forward and turn. Um, you could afford to be a lot more aggressive here, and I think you need to. You got to get that third turret into battle. Kill that Kaga. Oh, come on. That third turret would have gotten him... Right, well, Wooster at least took care of him, so that's good. Uh, full speed. Full W into the Musashi. Come on. You got this. You are the healthiest asset on your team. You are no longer the healthiest asset on your team. So, smoky, uh, shooting there, not a, not a good idea. But... I feel like you're playing this ship way too conservatively. I did curse him. That's right, Tree Sock. All right. Well, fortunately for you, the Riga was next to you, so. All right. He's showing you broadside. Punish. He wants to kill the Wooster next. W, 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 get under his shells. 
Nope. No, he can't pull off the glass jaws cheek shot. He's got to wait. So because he used that smoke early, he now has to wait a minute and a half for a smoke to come up again. Uh, ugh. Okay. Hey, you got 30 seconds left in the match. You're going to win as long as your Woofster doesn't die. I see that. I just see that now. Yeah. So, there's no need to come out here. Absolutely zero need to come out here. So, what are you doing? You're coming out. You're giving him an opportunity, possibly, to shoot you. I get that you want that last damage, but if he shoots you and kills you, eh, he probably still loses, actually. Okay. So, in general, I'd say um, you're playing way too conservative with that particular ship. Um, you didn't use, to, you didn't really effectively use the gimmick of that ship well. So, consider that um, when when you are, you know, playing that ship, you can be a little bit more aggressive. It's okay. <laughs> 